So, I need some help from someone much smarter than me. Uh, <laughs> recently, well, we've all heard of the Mandela Effect. I'm, if you haven't, definitely go check it out because it's mind-blowing. Um, there's some really good examples, but the one that I heard the other day rivals them all. 100% of the people I've talked to remember it the same way that I do. <laughs> and it's really tripping me out. So... If you're an 80s or 90s kid, you'll probably remember this. If not, you might want to skip this one. But uh, back in the day, as kids, we all remember, our, if you had an address, most likely you got envelopes from the Publishers Clearinghouse Sweepstakes and Ed McMahon. And their commercials were all over TV with Ed McMahon. That's the only reason I know who that guy is, is because I remember the commercials. He was the spokesperson for them. He would show up at your house with these huge checks, and I mean, there were so many commercials. It's all ingrained in our memory. Apparently, that's not the case. He never worked for them. He, w he had no affiliation with them. Ed McMahon worked for American Publishing or something, some more of a no-name company. And then the guy that was the spokesperson for the sweepstakes, I'm talking, the Publishers Clearinghouse, Nobody, nobody knows who the hell that guy was. I, I just, I don't get how this could be the case. Um, at first I thought maybe they just scrubbed the internet of it because it, it all says that, no, he never worked for them. Um, thought maybe it was a PSYOP or something like that. But the really weird thing, a lot of people were like, I'll get to the bottom of this, I saved my envelopes. Uh, so they go dig them up, or try to, and they're not there, they don't exist anymore. So it's almost like our timeline shifted or something, like, I don't know. Anyway, the other weird thing is there's no less than like half a dozen sitcoms, and you can look them up on YouTube, that had him guest star, Ed McMahon would guest star, and show up usually with a big check. Why would they do that if he never worked for them? Um, like Betty White in the Golden Girls, she answers the phone one day and she's like, hello, publisher's clearinghouse sweepstakes? Uh, I should hold for Ed McMahon? It's like, why would they even have that as part of their script if he never worked for them? So I'm completely mind blown, I don't get it. The I did see something, like the smartest kid in the world right now, I think he's only like 14, but he's just a genius that like rivals Einstein's intelligence and just super smart said that when the Large Hadron Collider in Geneva, Switzerland went online it, you know, a lot of people were worried it was going to create a black hole, I remember that part, but what he's saying is that it, like, shifted our our timeline into another dimension or universe or something like that, so anyways, I was hoping maybe one of you could help me figure this out, because we can't all be crazy.